had responsibility. Stay out until the city For we won't speak daily And it feels incomplete We moved on as well, anyway. Loving it, yeah. loving it, loving it, loving it. I tell you what, would you love it if somebody sent you uh, or had to pay seventeen pounds for a strawberry? Strawberry. I mean, it's in a nice little box, yeah. and it's in um, Hong Kong, uh, imported from Japan, and it says here uh, it's been hand picked. Well, how else you pick a strawberry? Exactly. <laughs> 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 and it's got a bit of, it's got a bit of straw in there in the box yeah, and stuff. Exactly. Seventeen quid Oh Jesus. Are you have you ever had a Brazilian? Actually. Well No, I haven't. Have you not? No. You see that bloke this week. I don't know. Well, I want the bloke because it the the bloke was literally having a Brazilian but it warned his wife. Sorry. You're right. It just came on its own. Uh, oh well there you go. We've got a gremlin in the yeah. system. And its Facebook hasn't quite Works and it won't no. really sync with SRB Radio. But I've got a really. plan. I've got a plan. That I'll talk to you about it. Oh, okay. After. All right. Anyhow, this 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 bloke had a plan as well. Mm-hmm. He was having a bit of extra marital stuff, nooky, okay, with the bird half half his age, <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> until his wife yeah. come back a bit early and found out. Right. Well, he found her in bed, so she grabbed her by the air. Yeah. She must have just picked up a pair of scissors from somewhere because she'd given a bit of an air cut. <laughs> and then she marched around the... Ra- but you'd have thought that she'd have just marched her with the head and cut it after. Yeah, exactly. But, but no, she never. Yeah. And um, it was it was quite... Um, it was quite well spectated. But it's all... They Is that always a word? Get... Eh? Is that a word? Well, watched. Okay. <laughs> you know. And there was quite a round of applause and stuff like that. You could see it's on our Facebook. So if you go to our Facebook page, you can see this uh, Brazilian wife giving the Brazilian lover a bit of a shoe in. I don't know what happened to him. He's probably a divorced Brazilian bloke now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on then, let's have um, let's have another track. What we got? Well, we've we, 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 we
Bit of knowing dark finish, yeah. Charlie Bonkers, and then get uh, Doug on the phone because we're going to have a chat and see what the Lambrettas are doing because I have got a new EP out now. Okay, here we go. Let's have it. Bonkers, I'll tell you what, the boys make some great sounds. I love Nine Dark Finish. I mean, that is, that is a tune and a half, isn't it? Manchester man, we can't remember. That'd be stupid from Birmingham. From Birmingham, oh, that's right, of course, yeah, of course they are. Stupid me. Yeah. And he's from Middlesbrough, but the, um, that's you it, know, yeah. Daz and uh, Chris are from, uh, from Birmingham. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, that's, uh, what, where are you going? See that Lisa Appleton bird? I don't know who she is. Mm-hmm. She went out this week with some nipple tassels on. What? They do not have to pinch a bit, don't they? Well, I'll tell you what, I've never worn them. No. And at the uh, the Grammys, you mm. seen some of the attire at the Grammys? What was what was CeeLo? There's What's been a load. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, there's been a load of see-through stuff and some really unusual kits that they've been wearing. Yeah. Hey, talking about kits, did you watch the Magic Mod on Soccer AM? Uh, no, no. Done no, his no. trick with uh, Manuel Petit. Superb. Absolute ledge. And I'll tell you something, do you think he looks like Bradley Wiggins? Who? Bradley Wiggins. Bradley you know, Wiggins looks very good. No, it's not Bradley Wiggins. <laughs> I think, look, the magic mud looks like Bradley Wiggins. Right, okay. And he's in a bit of trouble, eh? No bit of bother. He's fractured his leg on the jump. Not the magic mud, but Bradley Wiggins. Mm. What's he gone on that show for, anyhow, in the first place? <laughs> Apart from the obvious. God that goodness. must be the most daftest reality TV show on the dial. It is. And I tell you what, there's some right load of rubbish on the dial as well, isn't there? I tell you what's all over Facebook as well. Brazilian presenters on beaches. Have you seen them? No. It must be just the stuff that I'm looking at and it keeps... We already talked about Brazilians. Yeah, well, that was another Brazilian. But there's know. loads of Brazilian presenters doing strange things. I mean, all that, like, washes up on a beach in, like, Norfolk is £50 million pounds worth of cocaine. What are you doing? Are you hiding from somewhere? No, I'm just trying to see what my face looks like on the side. He don't look any better than the front, does he? Uh, I need six logs from you, anyhow. Okay. So let's play a track. Okay. Let's get Doug on the line, and then we'll come back with uh, Mrs. Brown logs. Fine. Right.
Castle Black. It and was a summer. Premonition. I had a premonition. It was a summer. Yeah, was summer. lovely. Yeah. Have you ever had a premonition? Uh, not recently, no. I, I can't know. hear my. You will do. I can't. You will do. Okay. You will do. Hey, it's like magic, isn't it? Yeah, it's magic. I can hear it now. Hopefully, like magic, Doug Sanders from the Lambrettas is going to be on the phone and will join us now. Doug. I. Th Doug, you there, mate? Wonderful. I... Hold on. Push it in. Yeah, pushed in. You alright, mate? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Brilliant, superb. It's all about the connection. <laughs> and we've got a great connection now. And we've got Doug Sanders from the Lambrettas on the phone. You're going to talk about your wonderful new EP. Go for it. How you doing, mate? Uh, yeah, I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good. What do you want to know about it? <laughs> I think you've got a great cover. Where, where did the, um, an old Formula One, like, car come from? That's a good point. That probably come from the, uh, I'm not exactly sure. I think it was sort of born half between the back of my mind and the, um, the guy that did the artwork, just because I'm a bit of an F, you know, an F1 fan. And it just sort of, um, so it's like a 60s, uh, 60s go for it type thing. It sort of ties up if you <laughs> if you work it out. If, if you work it out with squinting your eye, it works out anyway. No, I think it does, and I think the colours work out. I think everything works out. I think yeah. the uh, the lyrical content works out. No reaction. Go for it. Walk away. And then I, I've got to say a banging cover of uh, one of my favourite records of all time, all day and all the night from the Kinks. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, we do that live, so. Um, yeah, we thought we'd put a bit of a different slant on it with the brass section and stuff, yeah. Now, let's go back a little bit. Let's backtrack to the late 70s. Um, I don't want to make you feel old, but we were no. at school, and uh, you'd, you'd had one single that had already been released. Yeah. And then, I would say, one of the tracks of my school days, Poison Ivy, from the Lambrettas, I mean, that... That is just one of the greatest songs, and and you've arrived on the stage, uh, four four guys from Lewis, and just took took the took the scene by storm, mate. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it was um, it was a big record. Uh, you know, it got played so much during during that summer. It was like it when it was in the chart. It spent a long time going up and a long time going down. So it just seemed to be eternally played. And I think it was a hot summer and. Uh, so I, get, I guess it just sort of um, wedged its way into everyone's mind. So that's as good as far as I'm concerned. But it, it, it's a great, it's a great idea to put one or two cover songs, very very popular songs, when when you're starting out on that road of success, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. You know, because when you're trying to cut yourself into this industry, which is very very difficult. Having having that just opens one or two more doors, and then you put your material in there, and uh, you're up and running. But you were you were in a band with. Uh, it's with... very difficult to know when yeah, when is. to do a cover and and what to do. 
mm-hmm. because you know you, you can sort of op- open the door to criticism. Um, but I, I think if you sort of more, you know, if it's if you do it once in a while and it's treated sort of as an homage and you put something different, a different slant on it, then I, I think that's cool. Yeah, definitely. Now you and Jez were in a, a band called Shakedown before yeah, the we Lambert were, yeah. one, yeah. So we, we talk, were, yeah. talk us through that. What was going on? What kind of band were you? And <laughs> you know, were you mod? And then you decided to adopt the uh, the Lambrettas name was, from the scooter. It was just really. Um, it, it was more like a sort of rocky sort of band, really. Yeah. And then Jez and I were sort of leaning one way, and the other two guys were different in a different way. So. You know, that's, that, and we were just playing around pubs and stuff, and we thought, well, you know, well, let's just do what we want to do and see if it works. And, uh, so, so we, we quit that and, um, started the Lambrettas and, uh, yeah, the rest is history, as they say. And Hastings Pier was the first gig that you'd done as the Lambrettas. That was the day they were born, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. It was, I think that was our first gig. It was, um, it was put on by a guy called Peter Haynes, mm-hmm. and, um, yeah, uh, uh, there are a few other bands there, the Team Beats, uh, Purple Hearts, and a couple of others. And um, I think we did seven songs. <laughs> and um, uh, the guy, that, the guy that promoted it, Peter, he um, he asked if we had management, and we didn't, of course. So uh, we sort of signed up to him, and uh, you know he, he was pretty good, really. You know, as in he got us a record deal and you know got us some good gigs. So uh, yeah. And I still, he's not our manager, it hasn't been for a long, long time, but I do see him from time to time, so, uh, you know, he, he played an active part back then. Well, you've got a wonderful manager now, I'm sure, who's playing an active part, and, and certainly... <laughs> <laughs> and I make can't it... say too much about that, can I? <laughs> but she's standing next to you. <laughs> uh, well, she's in, she's in the kitchen, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, don't upset her if she's in the kitchen, dog. It ain't a good idea, mate. No, you... Sorry? I said don't upset her if they're in the kitchen, because you know what they're like, women, with knives. Absolutely, of course. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I wouldn't do it. 79, up to 82, little bit of um, a lull, and then back with Go For It in 2017. Talk us through that process. Well, we, we split in 82, we yeah. thought... You know, we didn't want it to sort of fizzle out. We so we thought, oh, we'd rather go out, you know, on a bit of a high. So, um, you know, we we did a final gig, I think, at the venue in London, and that was great. It was packed out, and we called it a day. And then between now and two thousand, then and two thousand and nine, we did get back together on a few occasions yeah. just to do, you know, a few gigs here and there. I think we did a couple of TV things. We did a big breakfast, just little reunion things. Mm-hmm. And then in um, 2009, someone asked us to do a gig in Brighton, and uh, I was very dubious about it at first. It was only really Paul and I from the original band, and um, didn't know it would work, so we, we found a couple of other guys, and uh, out of rehearsal, did the gig, and um, the phone's still going, so, you know, we're <laughs> still doing it, but yeah, it's just, um, it, it, it just gelled straight away again. It, and, uh, you know, sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't, so we're, we're very lucky that it did. Now, all the, the songs have been written by you, Doug. The, the music much, yeah. is, uh, is band-based. Yeah. And you're a four-piece, but you've got brass sections that, that turn you into an eight-piece as well. Yeah, well, we've got... There's seven, yeah, there's um, seven of us. There's uh, Helen Kane plays trumpet, Dan Rahan plays trombone, and, and Mark Mansell plays sax. Um, they, they're sort of... A, you know, 99% permanent feature with us now live. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it just really just gives it a lot more punch, you know. And the uh, the EP, the EP um, mm-hmm. Granary Studios in yep. uh, in Kent. Yep. Any ideas or any time scan frame for an album coming out? Yeah, we're hoping that that we'll get one done sort of before the end of the year. Yeah. That's the plan. I mean, these plans tend to, uh, you know, get delayed or go awry. But at this precise moment, um, you know, we things are sort of seem for, um, to be going pretty good, and, and I'm thinking that so that probably will happen. So I'm, I'm guessing, and I, it really is a guess, but maybe December, perhaps uh, we, we'll ever be ready to uh, release a new album. Got to say, decent time to bring out an album, Christmas. Sorry. Decent time to bring out an album, Christmas. 
Yeah, let, let's hope so. <laughs> a, a decent market, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a good market if people know about it. Yeah, so uh, anybody that there. anybody that wants to link up with the Lambrettas, your website is all the W's dot the Lambrettas dot co dot UK. Now you yep. you're quite active this summer. You've got some gigs. You've got some festivals. Um, yeah. Talk us through one or two of them. Okay, we've got um, uh, a good point. We've got one in. Um, I think we've got... Oh, well, he caught me there now. April Scarmouth, uh, mate. Yeah, OK, now I've got them now. Yeah, yeah. OK, we've got one at Scarmouth. Um, that's in Wales. We've got 100 Club in London, 5th of May. That's always a pretty good one. Yeah. Um, we, also in May, we're off to Milan. It's the um, 70th anniversary of Lambretta scooters. And so um, we've got the... Um, we're, we're sort of headlining that. So that should be good. That's on the uh, F1 Monza circuit. Yeah. As it, all tying in again, you see? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think oh yes 11th of March I think that's the next one that's the uh, Scar Mod Punk Soul Fest that's a, and it's at Ten Creek in Lou uh, in Cornwall so and and uh, a whole bunch of others um, there's some more in Wales some up north there's some there's some one in Scotland yeah so yeah plenty plenty there you've got the Music Mania in August and you've also got the Danoon Revival Weekend at, in August as oh, well oh yeah that was it Danoon so, yeah, yeah. That, yeah that looks like fun yeah I think all festivals are funny. It's different to playing gigs in clubs and, and, and different bars and venues. It's, yeah, it's a way I, of connecting like with a bigger festivals. audience as well, isn't it? Yeah, audiences are always great at festivals. Yeah. They're always, you know, just totally up for it and, you know, nobody's trying to be super cool or, you know, and, and uh, it's always pretty good reception for most bands from what I've seen and, and I love doing festivals. Any favourite track that, um, that that you wrote on the EP, Doug, finally? My favourite track? Yeah, is there anyone that, you know, because I mean, all, all songwriters, it, they're all your babies, aren't they? But is it, you yeah, know? It, well, well, that's a difficult one. I'd have to, um, probably, even though it's probably the simplest, um, no reaction because it's um, it's the most Lambretta-ish, yeah. if you see what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we, um, we're going to be playing Walk Away, because as I say, I, lo I love all different tracks, and that yeah. one was different to the others, and uh, yes. as I say, I think, I think the whole album, with so the old EP works, I think it's a wonderful piece of kit, and uh, Thank you very much. I wish you all the best going forward, and uh, we're going to play off your new EP, go for it. Walk away. Thank you very much. Cheers, Doug. Thanks for your time. Cheers. And have no a problem. wonderful summer. Cheers, okay, mate. Thank you. Okay, Cheers, Doug. Thank you. Bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Can't seem to get there, no I won't step up, won't step down It don't always come back around You may soon be finding
Pam, pam. The wonderful Lambrettas. sound of the Lambrettas walk away off their new EP go for it. And many, many thanks to uh, Doug Sanders from the band for, uh, for his interview. Uh, five, six, what you got? Five, six, six, six. likes? Come on then, let's have them. Number one. Super glue. Yeah, I like super glue. That's incredible. Do you, have you ever? What? Like, glued, glued your fingers together? Oh, God. Or pick your nose yeah, when you're yeah, doing yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, Not pick my nose, but, wow. yeah, it's still my fingers. I bet times, the hospitals yeah. have And other seen people's fingers. Yeah, Come on, number two. Phone boxes. I love a phone box. The red phone box. The, the traditional red. Iconic, uh, aren't they? Fantastic. And if you go over the road. Yeah. Chuck's got one in his uh, garden. But the old phone boxes, like Doctor Who's, they they were like right. Dixon and Doctor Who as well, weren't they? They were blue, weren't they? I do remember them though. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah. A couple in uh, yeah. town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the girl's name, Clarissa. Clarissa. Yeah. It's Welsh, though, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, well, it sounds quite Welsh, sounds doesn't it, Clarissa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. it should be. Purple bricks. Yeah. Is that a website? No, no. It's um, it's a, it's a, an agent, a house agent. Oh, you what mean them, name? like, yeah. selling yeah. your house, yeah, rather name. than, like, the purple bricks that you build your house with? Yeah. Well, they're more blue, aren't they, bricks? Yeah, they are. You know, they? You, yeah, I like blue oh, bricks. Oh, that's great. Blue bricks are harder than red bricks, aren't yeah. they? Oh, yeah. Staples? Magic, aren't they? Do you mean the thing or the you shop? Do. No, the thing. Yeah. Aren't they incredible? Have you ever had a problem with the staple gun? Uh, not recently, no. no. You mean foreign at people? Well, we used to do that when we was at school, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. Yeah, yeah tried stapling people's hands. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I once, um, I once stabbed somebody once with um, a compass. What? You know that, we are doing that game, you know, where you spread your fingers. Oh, you yeah. Dup, 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 like a chicken thing, blindfolded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't looking, was nah. I? I wasn't looking. Straight through. Did he scream? He did, yeah. <laughs> was it tears? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, not the first time you've brought a kid to tears, is it? Nah, nah, nah. nah. Come on, then. <laughs> Uh, I like the word, this is the word, but oh, word of the day actually, lustatious. Oh, that's a great word. Yeah. Do you know how to spell it? Yeah. L-U-S-T-A-C-I-U-S. What does it mean? It means... Oh. Does it? Bit Valentine. Yeah, it does it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we had a spelling test on Sunday, because the kids come round on a Sunday, mm. and Tom likes to do some maths and spelling. Yeah. I mean, he's 24. Yeah, you know, he, he likes to do the spelling. <laughs> <laughs> so the girls are, you know, giving him like words to spell. I think the oyster he got was six out of ten. Yeah, Ross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then maths, he, he ended up throwing it across the room. He gets a bit frustrated. Come on then, what we got? We're what we got? Have a dirty Jane. Dirty Jane. Is she? Mm, I hope so.
dirty. 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 What's he shouting? Boogie Monster. Oh, Boogie Monster. <laughs> well, that's a title track, isn't it? So, yeah, so ideally, we're, that's we're the right, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, words yeah. to be shouting. 400 Club. From Birmingham, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Not too sure what part of Birmingham. It's a rather large city. Come on. Well, uh, one's 400. What number do you want? Seven. Number seven, blimey. Right. No, you can't. It's nothing on number seven. Eighteen, then. Right. Famous people. Who's your favourite person? Famous. Famous. Quite a few, actually, I suppose. Uh, Martin Luther King, uh, Jimi Hendrix. Mm, no. No, none of these are on there. Okay, Peter Falk, who oh. played Columbo, has a glass hey, eye. My wife. He yeah, does have a glass wife. eye, you know. Yeah. Keanu, Keanu Reeves once managed a pasta shop in Toronto. Oh, okay. Yeah. And also, Rosanna Barr. Used to be an opening act for Julio and Glacius. <laughs> it's hard to say, isn't it, Julio? It's them yeah. Spanish names. I struggle with Spanish names. Mm, you do, don't you? Right, come on then. Let's, track. Uh, let's have another track. Let's, uh, let's not fake it. Make it and make it. Make it and make it. Uh, Joe Root, made New England captain. Good luck to Joe. Yep. Yeah. We've got the uh, tech on the Aussies, aren't we? Yeah. Do you want me to do this? Yeah, Colin Ballin. Got it. Sticking that plonk out that, um, did you see that on Facebook, burning the £20 note in front of oh, the homeless? No, what an absolute yeah, yeah. scumbag. Ballin? Uh, Ronald Coyne, his name is, so he's oh. giving the Colin Ballin because he's a complete prick. Right. Come on in. Twitter time, Twitter time, Twitter time. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I haven't got Twitter up. 
No, well, it does help if you get it up. Oh, then we right. can give a shout out to our latest Twitter followers at Biscuit Boys, Biscuit underscore Boys. So can... Should we have a quickie? Have a quick song? Let's have a quick song and then we'll give a shout out to our Twitter followers because you can follow the show on Facebook, watch it live on Facebook, sure. and we uh, sure. we do give a shout out every week to our Twitter followers. It is Valentine's Day, so it's uh, looking for love. Have you found it? Yeah. Finds it. I like that. Nice kind of like get down and funky, my kind of style. Mm -hmm. If you uh, if you are watching on Facebook, because we we've done a Facebook recording it, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We tried to be clever we, and do a schedule. Yeah, uh, but we missed work. off the we first we, twenty yeah, minutes. Yeah, so, so you'll get forty minutes on Facebook and yeah. about an hour on SRB Radio. You'll get the full it's, show on SRB. Yeah, it's been quite experimental this week, and we've yeah, yeah. we've tried to squeeze it in and compact it as much as what we possibly can to be the Biscuit Boys Hour. Yeah. So finally, let's uh, have a look at our and give a shout out to our latest uh, Twitter followers, Staff and Script. Who are they? Oh, we are. Come on, in. I thought we were at the top. Gabriel Terry. Um, let's whack it up a bit. Whack it up, whack it up, whack it up, whack it up, whack it up. Yeah, Nova Neon. Nova uh, Neon. We, we played at the top of the show. Eva plays, Eva plays dead. <laughs> yeah. Who's that look like? Trump there. It's just, yeah, Mickey Mouse. Peter Kazanovich. Oh, that's a great right. name, isn't it? Right. Right. Last Creative. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Agnes Herbert. Maker, our friends. Yes. Uh, Alpha Studios. Our friends. Who's that? Looks like a porn star. She does, She's don't she? <laughs> I don't think we'll be following that one. Delicious PR. Delicious PR, yeah. We'll and be, uh, let's have one last one. Right, For the love of the bands. Hey. Loving it. Yeah, I'm Max Collins. Max Collins. Who's Max Collins. that then? X Pro. Yeah, Blimey. Yeah, Good yeah. surname. Following us for. I don't know. Yeah, uh, Looper. You know, like last week, it was that, that song that we played. Yeah. It's Looper Dooper. Oh, you know, when you said it was chocolate chip ice cream or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and I was looking for the band <laughs> named Chocolate Chip Ice yeah, Cream. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's quite a few of this. How many followers have we uh, actually got? We, we have now got 2,681 followers. Ah, you can follow us at Biscuit underscore Boys. Thank you very much. And you can also follow the show via Facebook and srbradio.com. It's been experimental, it's been different. 
massive thank you, Doug Sanders from the Lambrettas, join us for a chat and a tune. Uh, thank you everybody for listening and watching. We'll see you back next week at 7.15 on SRB 